Hi guys, Johnny here from WP Johnny doing a quick review of Gridpane's hosting control panel service. So uh, who is Gridpane? What do they do? Uh, Gridpane is run by guys from the web hosting industry. They have a lot of experience building servers and more importantly building high performance servers. Um, obviously they also know WordPress and they've built this uh, pretty cool service uh, so that you can run your own VPS servers without, you know, you can manage it using their software instead of having to jump around the command line and, you know, type things into the, the black box with the text lines, right? So, um, how are they different from the rest of the competition? What things I liked about them? What things I didn't like about them? Um, so, let's, let's go. Uh, features, basically, they've got all the standard features. I think they're right in the middle. They're a good mix. So you've got generally three kinds of users out there, right? You've got end users, uh, people who know how to use WordPress and that's about it, right? They, they're basic word, uh, web hosting users. They don't have too much experience. Um, and then there's developers. These are the guys that like do coding. So, you know, they need to get in and out of like the database. They need to get it in and out of FTP, uh, pushing from Git, uh, you know, back and forth from Git. They need staging. They need a backup function. Um, you know, they need the CLI, that kind of thing, uh, root, maybe root access even. And then there's server guys where uh, they want to manage a server. They want to look at the load uh, to see, you know, how, how well the server's handling the load. Maybe they want access to the configurations. Again, command lines. Um, and again, of course, maybe there's a, a few things that they need uh, to do their work, like maybe database stuff. So um, I think grid pane is, is, you know, we'll, we'll see right now in a bit, actually. Um, here's their pricing. So it's pretty simple. Uh, their intro pricing is $30 a month. Unlimited sites, unlimited servers. This is a huge bargain um, when you consider that it comes with ticketing and live chat. So it comes with support, um, has all the backups and all that. So it's a bargain. The only thing is, will you be able to appreciate the bargain if you only want one server? I think they're still worth it, but some of you may, you know, maybe your site is super small. And you may prefer another service like RunCloud, where their, their plans start at like $7 for one server. Um, if you pay $100 a month, uh, not only do you get you know, unlimited sites and servers and all that, you get some premium themes and plugins, you, you know, they help onboard you, you get teams and client support. This is great. You're, uh, you can have other members in there managing you know, the sites and servers as well. That's really useful if there's a team of you. Um, and if you pay the $300 a month, not only do you get all that to support and all that, you get the white label option, right? So you can resell the server, the panel under like another logo, another name. So that way your clients don't know that you, you know, bought your service from Gridpane, right? They think you've built your own little panel. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, obviously, they're, they're priced a little more on the premium end, and I think they deserve it. Okay, uh, comparison. Okay, great. Uh, they have compared their service up they pit their server against um, everybody that I care about these really are the next top guys in the industry run cloud spin up WP which is new but just caught traction very quickly cloudways is up there server pilot is up there um, and obviously you know the way they lay it out it looks like grid pane has everything and and the other services are missing stuff so you know uh, is it biased possibly they've got their help documents and there we are. All right, let's get straight to it. Let's log in, shall we? Let's take a look. Um, and ooh, my internet's running a little slow. Okay, here I am, I'm getting in. This is not their panel, their panel is actually very quick. It's just my internet's running slow right now. So, um, so right off the bat, you can, it'll take you right into the screen where it shows you how many servers you have. Um, let's say you want to provision a server. I did it with uh, Linode, Linode, however you want to say it. Put the name, put the server plan, whatever region, and then you hit create. Um, how do you do it? Well, first off, you, you had to have installed the API token. It's very easy to do. I already did it, so we missed that part. But let's, let's try uh, DigitalOcean. Okay. And I go here and and I picked, oh, you know what? I actually installed the token for DigitalOcean as well. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, there you go. So see, it, it looks like this when, when, you've haven't, uh, when you haven't set it up yet. 
So it looks like that, you click on that, you go here, and and then you put in the token. I mean, it, it's really easy, guys, I swear, no command line, no messing around with stuff. It is very simple. Um, I remember when I tried their service about over a year ago, I was very frustrated because I did everything correct, correctly, and while it seemed to work, like the server didn't come up, or I couldn't install a new WordPress site. Or like I could stall, install a new WordPress site, but it wouldn't show. I had to contact support. I had to do something. I had to notify somebody to jump in there and take care of it for me. So, and I wasn't the only one having this experience. A whole bunch of other people had the same experience and, and grid pane was written off as too buggy, not ready for production sites and whatnot. I can tell you as of today, as of August, 2019, grid pane is totally ready for production. And honestly, they, they were ready before just that little minor bugs and stuff. You, you contact support and they take great care of you. Support can go from here. You just, just start a new conversation chat. They're very responsive. Um, they're, you know, they're mostly more responsive during um, typical USA business hours, right? If you go after hours, it's going to be a little slower. Okay, uh, let's get started. So let's say we've already created the server. Um, there you go. Um, we can go to stats. Shows you the uptime. Um, you know, all the little details. I like this. This is really convenient uh, for a server guy. This is this is heaven for us. Um, you can edit, change the name, change the key. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, SSH, add SSH keys so other people can have access. There's a welcome video walkthrough. That's really cool, very convenient. I'm not gonna click that right now. Um, is there anything else I need to do here? Nothing, okay, straight to sites. So from here, um, yeah, this is really cool. I don't have to click add a site and then it opens up another screen. It just, you right away, you get started, so. Something.com, you choose the server, I only got one, and it's one, okay, one user because I don't have the, the, the more expensive option as many users. Here you can update DNS, uh, if you have a DNS made easy, I don't, I use Cloudflare and I just point the DNS directly here. Then from here, uh, you choose the bundles, um, okay, there's, we, we don't have any bundles. And then from here, uh, they have PHP my admin oh thank god so convenient right next to your site I don't have to enter any username and password we can look at the log uh, maybe I don't have an option this oh yeah I do okay all right so it shows what what the server's been up to um, okay wow this internet is slow so annoying and I get to my active sites uh, let's see Okay, wow, really slow internet. From here, SSL. So uh, by default, they only allow Redis caching, and then if you buy the more expensive plan, you get fast CGI caching. Uh, the way they're selling it, they're selling it that fast CGI caching is faster than Redis caching, a little bit faster, although if your site's not that big and not that much traffic, you probably won't notice. For me, uh, Redis caching was actually faster. So up to you. Go ahead and and test for yourself but the cheapest plans come with redis and you know the more expensive plans come with fast cgi caching as well to use one or the other you kind of have to switch them off and then you can enable the other one you can't use both at the same time it doesn't allow you to do that uh the WAF, the security i i, I don't need that um, it slows down your server site in a tiny bit backups uh that's cool very convenient Domains, um, if you want to add more domains, logs. Okay, so this, uh, oh no, now more waiting. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, all right, cancel. Magic. This is your access logs, right? If you get hacked or you, whatever, weird stuff, weird stuff, error, error logs. If your site's not running, you can go in there and see what plugin or theme is causing the issue. Subdirectory, multi-site, beta settings, don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, automatic updates and automatic white screen of death resolution. So if you get the white screen of death, maybe you turn this on and it gives you an easy option to, I guess, reverse whatever you just did. Okay, so downloads. Uh, this is such a great bargain, you guys. The all-in-one multi-site extension is like $200. And then all these is like an extra 100 whatever. Right, An extra 100 gets you all these, an extra 200 gets you this one. So just for this one alone, this is really awesome that uh, we get access to that. This comes with, uh, you need the minimum, uh, what's, what do they call it, developer? 
I think we call it developer plan. Yeah, developer plan. So the pro plan doesn't come with the free premium plugins and themes stuff. So that's cool. I'm sure they're probably going to add more goodies there over time. And that's about it for the panel, uh, which is the most important part, right? Because the panel is the, the main function. So what's the next the, the next thing I want to talk about is the performance. Grid pane is fast. It is really fast. It's the fastest of all the panels, of all the, the cloud server panel uh, control services out there. Grid pane is the fastest. They're running on Nginx, pure Nginx. So if you need .ht access, uh, you can't use grid pane. Uh, or you can, but you, you've got to put your rewrites another way, use a plugin or whatnot. Um, mostly you'll be fine, I'm sure. You can ask support. Um, but yeah, their performance is the fastest of all the cloud-based panels I've tried. I've tried maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 by now. I'm sure there's 20, 30 of them out there. But I tried the top name brand ones, the big names. They're, they're the fastest. So I love that. I love the panel. I love the speed. The pricing is very fair. It's not the cheapest pricing, but it's very fair. And I love the service. So the service is kind of like this. They're very friendly. They're very personable. Um, they're really helpful. But are they there 24-7? No. Um, and will they hold your hand through everything? Uh, like, like say, Cloudways? Mm, I don't think they want to. They don't want total newbies, but they're, they're very friendly. Um, so I like that about them. They have a great personality, great vibe. And, you know, they've updated their stack recently, too. So they released their service, what, two years ago? And then updated it, like, six months ago. So that's cool. Um, they're on top of the trend. Uh, everything they do is very updated, it's very clean, it's polished, it's, it's just enough controls for me and, um, and I think it's still simple enough for beginners uh, to not be overwhelmed by all the server stuff, right? So I really like that, the UI is clean, it's great, it's, it's cleverly, it's well thought out um, and I highly recommend them. So, you know, if you can afford the price of your VPS plus $30 you know, give them a shot, and I think you would like the performance, the panel, and the support. Once again, I'm Johnny from WP Johnny, and thanks for watching.